Hello, this video is to demonstrate the new scheduling features and mobile install capabilities of SI 2015. Um, what we'll do, we'll start by showing you how you schedule out tasks and manage service orders within the software, and then we'll take you over to mobile install and show you how that integrates now with the latest version of DTools. Uh, let's go up here to start, and let's go here to project. So one of the things that we've added here is uh, from the projects list where you can see all of your active projects. You can go down here and schedule and manage your task and also service orders from within this area. Now we still also have it under the scheduling area too, where you can also go and manage your task and service orders independently in more of a global view and see everything that's going on in those particular areas. So let's go schedule a task here. So it automatically will uh, show the client name and project name based off the project selected. What we'll do here is go ahead and name this. So I'm going to say we're going to install our trim phase of equipment here. Now, um, what we'll do is kind of move down the, the ribbon here. We'll go to items, and this will allow me to pick which items I want to be installed. So here's everything in that project currently. Now, we've got a filter in here, the quick filter. This allows me to narrow down the equipment by room. So I could click on a particular room or area here, and that would trim it down. You can do it by system, by manufacturer. We can also do it by type of equipment, as well as we can also do it by phase. So what we'll do is I'll say, just do our trim phase items. This trims it down to just those items there. Now maybe if I want to make this a little bit smaller, maybe we'll just do the items in these two rooms here. So hit select all and add that into our work order, our task here. Now we can also go to resources and pick the person that we want to do the installation. And we can say, all right, we'll have Jeff do this. Now, in this area, anybody that has this little icon here next to it, that means that that is a mobile installer. So we're going to assign that there. And we can apply the hours to that person or persons. So we've got Jeff here booked for 11 hours. Now, to properly set the start and end time here, we've made a few adjustments here to this to make this work as expected, where you can just choose a start time and have it uh, calculate the end time for you. So we'll say that we're going to schedule out Jeff for tomorrow at 9 a.m. and have it compute the end time. There we go. So it says we well, should complete on the 29th by noon, according to our setup for our uh, regular working hours there. So from here, um, we can go ahead and send this out the normal ways. We do have Outlook and a new option, which is Google Calendar. So you can now send it or share it out to Google Calendar if you choose to. Uh, but the big new feature is, is mobile install. So we're going to hit Publish to Mobile Install. Save this. Now, as a part of the Publish to Mobile Install, we do give you the ability to attach any documents or reports to it that you want. Um, you can attach other files here as well. So a good example of that would be drawings. Um, so you can attach those there too if you, if you wish. So we'll hit Publish here. And this takes our task that we just scheduled and pushes it out to the web. We'll go ahead and save what we've done here. So as you can see, task does drop in here below the project. So you can see it here with all the other files and options here. So let's go out to mobile install and show you what that looks like. Get a email from us that actually breaks down what needs to be installed. Um, now we can also go straight to the web for this as well. So let's go in here and let's show you what that looks like. So let me go pull this up here and we'll take a look at mobile install and show you how this web-based interface operates. There we go. So, uh, first thing on the mobile install is your dashboard. So this shows us a quick breakdown here of everything that needs to be installed in a dashboard format. Now, it is a website or a web page, but it is mobile optimized. So it's what we call a responsive website. If I go and change this to maybe the size of a typical smartphone, um, or if I change it to maybe a tablet, you'll see that the orientation, the text, the buttons all change to fit the screen properly. So you're not having to scroll left or right or any of that stuff you typically would have to do with a, a non-mobile uh, optimized website. Um, so we'll change and adjust accordingly so it looks and feels like an app, but you get the flexibility of a browser-based tool. Um, you can click on any of these items here too, by the way, and go straight to your task. You've also got a built-in calendar here. Now, this is a web-based calendar, all new for 2015. Um, you can see on the day, week, and month view here. 
and adjust accordingly. Uh, now this also feeds directly from the calendar out in the software. So if we schedule things, adjust things on our calendar in the um, SI 2015, it does change and update out here as well too. So nice new feature for each person to have their own personal web-based calendar they can do. Um, now we also have our task view which shows you all of your open tasks here. So there's the one that we just set up. So we'll go ahead and click into that. So once we click into it, you'll see there's a couple things here on the home page. This kind of gives you a quick overview of the install. Uh, now we've got two ways of tracking time. You can actually go in here and enter your time manually. Um, you can also use the timer here as well. So the timer actually logs the time spent. Once you hit stop, hit apply, and this will add it to the existing job. So like I said, you can come in here and kind of punch in your time either way there. Um, other pertinent details are here, including a Google Maps link. So this will pull up the location here so we can get directions or find it here on the job site. Um, the items tab here we can click into. This shows us all the parts or equipment that need to be installed. If you've got a large list, you can also, too, if you like to focus on things room by room, you can just say, all right, show me the entryway. Um, as we're installing it, we can go and mark it installed here. And we also have a place for logging our serial numbers and notes. And all that information does sync right back up to the software. We also have a notes area as well, too. So we can say, you know, went out on site uh, and you know, so could not finish. You know, so you can make uh, notes here. Uh, this is kind of like a, almost like a chat history. So this is great, especially for jobs that may be going on over a period of time. We can kind of keep a little history of notes there. See other other installers here that are involved with the project. Photos and images also too can be taken, and this actually integrates with your phone's native camera or camera roll. Um, so you can go in there and take photos and upload those, and it does put a date and time stamp on those too, so it keeps it all stored in the web there for you. Um, your documents here can also be viewed. So any drawings or maybe documents you want to share out to the web, those can be viewed. And lastly, we have an analysis button, which allows you to see your actual versus estimated here. Um, now, this is a this is the view designed for a technician or installer. Um, there's a few additional admin setting buttons you would see if you're an administrator. So, like I said, this is the uh, streamlined view, if you will. Um, now, the other factor in here is service orders. So, service orders also too can be scheduled out from within the software. Um, set up very much like a task is. Um, you can come in and actually click on this, see your information here. Now this one's already been completed, but we'll still take a look at it here. Um, once again, your map link, your time can be tracked here. Um, a couple of new tabs here that you'll see in service orders only, such as repair items. Shows you any items that need to be repaired specifically. There's also the ability to add site items as well too. So this is kind of a new thing. So if you go out on site, and let's say the customer says, you know, while you're here, can you also take a look at this for me? Or, you know, something else becomes, you know, kind of apparent that needs to be fixed or replaced. This allows me to go in there and add some products or labor to the service ticket. So that's a big problem for a lot of people. It's kind of missing that additional work out on site. So I can come in here and say, okay, we fixed security camera in entry. Okay, so we put that in there. We'll say maybe it took us one and a half hours, and we'll go ahead and save that. So that adds the additional work to the service ticket. We can see our totals there. There is also an approve option here as well uh, inside the system. So I can actually present this to the customer, have them sign off on the additional work, hit save, and that saves it there with the service order. Now, if this is the first time, this one's already been approved, but if it had been approved, there's also a little checkbox that says, I acknowledge that the work's been completed to my satisfaction. So kind of get that as well, too, that you can uh, check off with the signature for that. But it is nice because now this all is logged here and signature is captured. So if there's ever a billing or invoice dispute later on, we have it covered here. Now, this information, too, um, goes back to the software, and you can actually update and link those side items to the equipment in your in your database. Um, all this, of course, too, rolls all the way into QuickBooks for any QuickBooks users, so that way you can basically invoice this right from here. So that's pretty much just a little run through there of your uh, mobile install tool new for 2015. Uh, now, we did make some other big enhancements in the software as well, too, related to scheduling, so what we'll do is show you that here. Let's go to 
schedule. So you'll see a new tab called schedule here. So you can manage your tasks and service orders here. Um, new thing for 2015, you can manage all of your tasks in one central area. So for anybody that's using uh, version 6, if I recall, that task really only existed within a project. Um, so here, now you've got a kind of a centralized place for managing and organizing those. And we've added a few new filter options here too. You can say, show me items for this week. You can also narrow it down by client name, project name too. Um, some other new things too in scheduling is we did enhance the calendar. Uh, so now it is easy to go in and view multiple calendars. Now this may look at first glance for anybody using version 6 very similar, but it's actually now not a read-only calendar. We can now actually click into any of the items here on the calendar and open it up to edit. We can also take anything that's on the calendar and also move it. So if I want to change this to a different date, I can simply slide it around and you'll see it even warns you of conflicts too if you've got them and moves it. So anything you change here on the calendar in the software, once again, can be updated out to the web-based calendar on mobile install. So definitely a nice and improved calendar here for 2015. Um, lastly, the big thing too is also nice is the resource hours things. This is completely new. Um, this allows me to come in here and actually choose people on staff or resources, and I can actually see their estimated versus actual times here. You can, once again, use your filters, show what's going on this week, this month, this quarter, this year. And when you do this, you can actually not only see the estimated versus actuals globally with pricing, but also you can see every install or task that's been scheduled out and also every service order as well, too, with the status of each. So this is a really neat new feature, um, being able to see this globally and see your time globally by a resource, which is something that couldn't be done before in prior versions. So that's just a little run through there of the new scheduling features and mobile install for version SI 2015. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at sales at d-tools.com or at 1-866-386-6571, extension 1. Thanks a lot.